Hi, everyone. Sorry about the late start. We had some technical difficulties. So welcome to this afternoon's Books Alive online event with Craig Phillips, illustrator of Aroha Te Fai Ora, and Pascal from the Pereru District Library. Uh, Aroha Te Fai Ora is a finalist in the New Zealand Book Awards for Children and Young Adults in the Wright Family Foundation Te Kura Punamu Te Reo Mori category. Thank you to the New Zealand Libraries Partnership Program for the opportunity to host these events last week and this week. Uh, Craig and Pascal, you can take it away whenever you're ready. Hello. So, hello everyone. We're in Pahiatua Library today with Gemma, who will draw, and with Karina, our outreach librarian. So we're really happy to welcome Craig and Willie. We really feel privileged to have you and to share with you. And we hope you, you do really well in this, in the competition. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, everybody. So can everybody hear me and see me and everything? Feel good? Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm Craig and uh, we have a, um, I've got a book along with Karina Kelly and Rebecca Lip in the Book Awards this year. It's called Aroha Te Fai Ora, um, and it's a translation of Aroha's Way, which uh, we are really thrilled to have in the awards and are really um, absolutely honoured to have Karina Kelly retell it uh, in Te Reo. And uh, so what I do today, we've only got 30 minutes, so uh, we're doing a little bit of a drawing class today. So what I thought I'd do, can everybody see this image here? Yes. Yes. So I'll just really quickly run through uh, some of my work in about two minutes or so, and then from there, just to show you what I do, and then from there we'll get straight into, into some drawing. And we'll start with really basic building blocks, and I'll basically, rather than show you how to draw aroha or, so, or something like that, I'll actually show you how I draw all my characters, and I'll give you some simple steps to help your drawing. Uh, it's how I do everything, and... Um, uh, and really help your drawing. It's every time I teach, I teach these methods. So first of all, let me just, um, yeah, I'll just run you through a few of these. So this, these are comics that I do. Um, and it's just really to show you the kind of characters that I draw. So you can see that my work is, is kind of simplified down um, and it's very, colourful and I like to use line and um, and I like to draw sort of distinctive characters and um, use a lot of colour, a lot of bright colours to tell my story. Um, so here's some examples of comics that I do. So these, these comics actually, they were the winner of the Russell Clark Award a few years ago um, at the Book Awards. So um, I don't know if anyone's seen these or not. So these, these are from Giants, Trials, Witches, Beasts. And I'll really quickly run through these just to show you what I do before we start drawing because I don't want to waste too much time. So the, the methods that I'm going to teach you today, they'll work for humans, they'll work for animals, and I'll also work for creatures like this, this big dragon. Um, so here's some of my work on paper. So you can see how I create everything. I draw in pencil and then I use pens and brushes and ink uh, to finish the drawing. And then it, for the colours, I scan everything in and work on the computer. So here's some pages from Aroha Te Fai Ora, and this is Aroha here. So and here's some from Let It Go, another book which also includes Aroha. These books have, so this artwork here also has some um, watercolour with the, with the um, pen drawings. So, yeah, just really quickly, usually I spend a lot of time talking about this art, but I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what I do to give you a little bit of context. And now I think we should probably start drawing. So I'll open up Photoshop. Okay, so can you see a white, just a white background? Okay. So what I do first is, so basically um, I'm going to teach you how to do, um, build a character's head. 
to start off with. I teach you about eyes. I teach you about constructing the head in like a three-step process. Um, and we'll do it really quickly. But first of all, when you think about characters, the best thing to do is start broadly. So you start, you don't do any detail. Just like you're building a house, you know, you start with the basic shapes and then you put the details in. And this is fundamental to all drawing. So uh, everything in the, in the human body, it's basically, um, it's, we're going to start off really simply. Everything in the human body is either a cylinder or, or a sphere or a box. A, rec a box. Everything I do is made up out of these, okay? And they're all, they're all 3D um, images. So if you can imagine, there's the sun, a light source up here, and it's shining down this way. It's going to create shadows on these objects. Like so. So everything, everything in the human body is made up out of this. It's really, it's, it's really important to break things down into simple shapes like this. Um, so if we're, just say if this is a, if you're thinking in terms of a head, right, um, and just say this is a can, okay, um, and there's a line that runs through here. If we get that can and we tip it on its side, so there's the can looking from like on an angle. So this straight line becomes a curve. So it'll curve like that. And if we've got the can looking, if we're looking down at the can, so here's the top of the can, that straight line here will curve this way. All right, so this seems really simple, but just keep it in mind because it's really important for when we're drawing faces. Um, so just keep that concept in mind and we'll move on to constructing a head. So when I construct a head, I do it in three steps. The first step is I draw an oval and this oval represents, if you can look at my picture, it represents from here, the eyes to the top of the head. And that's step one. Step two represents from the eyes to the chin. That's step two, right? Now, this line in the middle, it's like the line on our can, okay? It's called the eye line, right? And on the eye line, just we just do stick figures for now. The eyes go there. We also follow the eye line around and we can pop, an e pop the ears on. So that's how you line everything up. The skull will also come around like this. It'll hit the eye line. It'll change direction. Like this, this is really crude for now, but it's just to give you the, the general concept. Uh, that's how we can work out where our nose goes. Okay. So we'll just do it again. So if we're doing a, a character with a really pointy face, we might go step one and then we'll go step two for a really pointy face. There's the chin down here. Here's the eye line. So the eyes would go on the eye line. If it was a wizard or something, right, we'd follow the eye line around and we'd go up and over for the ear. This, is, this seems really basic because it is, and it's how I do everything I draw. Every character you see is done this way. So if you can imagine this is the head of the cranium from the eyes to the top of the skull, so it would come around, if you just imagine it's a round kind of shape, it would stop at the eye line, it would change direction and come out for the nose, okay? Aww. For the side of the face, we'd also follow the cranium around to there, it will stop at the eye line and then we'll come out and we'll change direction and that's how we, we draw our cheek. So if you look at my face here, you can see... Uh, On here. Like so up, up in my, up hmm. in my, the picture of me up in the corner. So my head will come around and it'll sort of, the, 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 it'll stop where my eyes, where my eye is and it'll change direction for my cheek. See, it comes out hmm. as well as my nose. The, the, you can imagine a line coming down. It stops in line with my eye and it'll change direction for my nose. See? So these, this, this basic idea um, helps us to structure any character we want to do. If we were going to do a character with a really sort of pear-shaped face, we go step one, step two, our eyes would sit on the eye line, 
We can follow it around for the year. My Photoshop's acting a bit slow because I've got Zoom on, so it tends to mess with my system a little bit. So anyway, um, and then we, we come around, hit the eye line and change direction for the nose again. All right, so keep that in mind. That's the basic building blocks of every single thing I do, wow. okay? So we'll just talk about eyes really quickly, all right? So if we're going to draw eyes, if they're going to do eyes like uh, if you look at me, you see my face now, that's a three-quarter view, right? And most comics and illustrations are done in the sort of three-quarter view because it's the most interesting view. Uh, sometimes you draw straight on, so this is a straight on view, Okay. So for a three-quarter view, when we're drawing eyes, um, you draw one eye. So here's our eye. Right? In order to draw eyes, we get this shape here and we just repeat it. So here's the bridge of the nose and we get that shape and we repeat it here. And I'll do this a few times so we get the idea. So this is for three-quarter view. So you copy and paste. We'll do a few more eyes. We'll do, uh, do an eye with some big lashes. So here's one eye with some big lashes. And then I get that shape and I, here's the nose sort of coming in here and I get that shape and I repeat it just there. See? So this is, that's the three quarter views. Um, I'll do, I'll do another one. I'll do like uh So this one's sort of looking off to the side. A little bit angry. So then for three quarter views, I just copy and paste. So I repeat that shape. So I get that eye and I literally just copy it as best you can. It doesn't have to be exactly copied. It just has to be just roughly copy the shape. Even the little bag under the eye, that little nick there, even copy that. So if I was going to put bags under this eye, I might just do that and I'll just copy it like that. Right, so they're three quarter views. I'll just do it one more time. I'll do like some sleepy eyes. So there's one. And then I'll come over here, I'll copy and paste. And the distance between the eyes is always about an eye width apart. Roughly. So all, these, all these rules, they're not hard and fast rules, they're like guides. So once you sort of know them, you can play around with them and start having a bit more fun. So there's some sort of sleepy eyes. So they're for three quarter views, okay, which is most characters are done three quarter view. You usually do a straight on character if you want a bit of impact or something, if it's a really emotional moment. And then if we're doing, I'm going to delete that now. And don't be too stressed if you can't follow along because just try and remember the basic concepts. And then when you go home, because we've only got 30 minutes, so we can't dwell too much on it, but just remember the basic ideas and apply them when you get home, but don't try too hard to follow along. Um, so if it's a, a, a straight on view, like if you look at me directly straight on, instead of copying the eyes, the eyes are mirrored. So if the eye is this shape, oh, that pen's running so slow because of zoom. It's a bit frustrating. Okay, if this is the, if this is the eye, we do a bag, maybe a lid. Whoa. Okay. Here's the, the eyebrow. So what we do is we just actually, just to save time, I'm literally going to copy and paste. You, you, you flip it. You mirror the image. 
Um, actually, no, I'll just draw it. So, yeah, if it's straight on, you just mirror that eye. So I'm going to try and draw it flipped. including the little bags under the eye, like that. So you just flip the eye. I'll just do one more. So if the eyes were um, just, uh, just like this, for example, and even if they're really cartooned, just say, this is your eye. Another bit of a scary one. Flip it. So we just get it. We go about an eye width apart and we just flip. And it's a really easy because a lot of people get hung up with little details like this. They get a bit stuck. But if you just remember these two rules, either copy the eye for three quarter or flip the eye for straight on, it doesn't matter how crazy you make your eye shape, it'll work. So, yeah, so three quarter view, just just copy the eye. There we go. So that's a really quick rundown of how to do to how to do eyes. So what we'll do is we'll get, we'll just start drawing some characters. I'll show you how that, the building of the head process works for humans and animals. So we might do, we'll just do roughly do a couple animals and then we'll do a couple of humans. Um, so let's do that um, step one, step two process. So here's step one, right? I'm going to draw like a lion and then we'll do a bear and then we'll do some humans. So there's step one, one. And then step two, I think of a lion's the lower part of a lion's face. It might be quite big. And then step three, you add a box. And I want to do it from side view. So um, so yeah, step one, step two, step three. Okay, and here's our eye line running through here. So we'll just rough in an eye. I'm just going to do a circle for now. Rough in an eye. And then we can follow the eye line all the way around and pop on an ear. So it goes up and over for an animal. If it's a human, you follow the eye line around and you go down instead of up. Okay. Let's put um, a nose. Just rough in a nose on the end of that box. Um, and then I'll come down and I'll do the mouth. So this works for everything. It'll work for dragons and crocodiles and all sorts of animals. Um, so, yeah, what I might do is put that down there. Just do this in a bit more detail then. So um, I might go, let me see. So this is a side view. So we're only going to see one eye on this one. So there's our eye. And I'm going to roughly trace this box down here. And then there's our nose. And then I'll follow, I'll just go and follow shape one. So the very first circle we do, I'm just going to follow that around all the way back to the ear. A bit of a bag under the eye. Um, for the mouth, I'll go down and I'll just draw a big, some big lips. Uh, 
And then um, I, for the ear, do you remember we followed the eyeliner around and went up and over? So I just do that. I'll go up like that. And there's our ear. I'll just put a hint of another ear there. And then I'll draw the chin. And then I'll just to get, so I'll just trace the second set we did all the way back to the ear. And I'll just put the neck in. So we'll just do, we'll do this a few times. So you can see how we could pretty easily draw an animal with those, with those steps. So I'll get rid of that. And we'll try another one. We'll go step one. We'll do a three-quarter view of this one. We'll do like a bear. So there's step one. And then I'll go out here because I'm going to give the bear a really big sort of pear-shaped face. Step two. There's step two. And then step three, we can add that box. So I'll just draw, here's a box. So there's a three-quarter box. Probably the hardest thing about this is actually, for some young kids, is actually drawing the box. It's probably the hardest part. But it's actually, with a bit of practice, it's pretty easy. So we've got step one, step two, step three. So remember, this is the eye line. So what goes on the eye line, right? The eyes. So for now, I'll just put an oval. One, two. We also follow the eye line around. If you look at my cursor, I follow it around and up and over. So I'm going to go around and up and over to the ears and around and up and over. And here's our box. This box is the snout. So on the end of the snout, we can draw a nose. Um, and then for the mouth, I'm going to give this bear a big goofy smile. So I'm going to go down, around, and I'm going to point that smile all the way up to the eye. See that line? It's going to point all the way up there. And then I'm going to come down. And just remember these lines I'm putting here, they're called construction lines. This is like the structure. So you draw these lightly. It's a sort of a little bit hard on the computer here, but usually I'll just work in colored pencil and just draw really lightly. Um, but yeah, these can change any time. They're sort of just guides for you to work off. And if you look at my, you know, my original drawings for all my comics and things, there's usually tons and tons of sketch lines. All right, so we've sort of got a bear's kind of head there. So I'll do just put a little eye inside there, like a little pupil, mm -hmm. one, two. And then if you think about it, like if you think about animals, you've got to think about their discerning, so their, you know, their main characteristics. So a panda, for example, he's got these big fried egg shapes over the eye. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to hit the eye line, and this is where the cheek comes out. See that eye line? Everything comes out from there. See how I've got the head comes around and hits the eye line and then changes for the cheek? So these, these shapes too would hit that eye line and come all the way out here on the cheek and then back up. Same with this one. It'll come around, hit the eye line, and then come out onto the cheek. Um, I might just try and, like I said, it's a little bit tricky on the computer. I'll try and colour this in a bit more just so it's a bit clearer. Yeah, so once you've got the, your sketches, your, your sketch lines, once you're happy with your sketch lines, then you can go in and just darken them up just like I'm doing. So I'm quite happy with those shapes. So I can go in and darken all these shapes up. So you can sort of see we've done, we did the same technique and we got two completely different 
animals. One. And then we're just darkening the head. Is then we'll chase all the way around. And you can sort of see. Remember to point that mouth up to the eye, like that. Put the tongue in. All right, so there's a bear, rough and sketchy as, but like I said, we haven't got a lot of time. So there, so there's another animal drawn with the same technique. Okay? That's great. Um, so I'll delete that one. So again, don't try and keep up, but just try and just um, just uh, try and remember those techniques. Um, I'll just do another really quick one. So again, could be so you could do so if this is a little like looking down, it's sort of a lion shaped head. So you just trace those shapes. We come up to, to this circle here and we just trace that all the way around. And then there's the ear. So you can sort of see roughly how you can just use that technique to draw pretty much anything you want. There's the neck. So there's step one, step two, step three, and then you just put the eyes on the eye line like that, follow, follow it around for the ears and put, pop the box on the eye line as well. Okay, so is that all making sense? <laughs> That's nice, yes. Okay. All right. That must have been doing really well. Ooh. Yeah, are you following? Are you going okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. It's very quick. This is such a quick class. <laughs> All right. It's good that you're keeping up. Yeah, but don't worry if not. Um, so, yeah, uh, so with humans, okay, with humans, we can go do, do a similar thing. Some people might go literally just draw a shape. I, I do the three-step process, but some people might just draw a shape like that. Right, and then they'll put their eye line there, you know. Whereas I tend to do this step one, step two, like that, and use that as my eye line. Um, but we'll just we'll play with this one first. We'll just do draw a character on here. So here, here's my eye line. Okay, it's just another way to do it. So um, I can put. And we'll do a really cartoony kind of face. We'll just make it up as we go. So if there's an eye, make it looking off to the side. 
uh, well, maybe put some eyelashes on, maybe, maybe a big sort of uh, bag under the eye, maybe some big eyebrows. Maybe like that. So this is going to be quite exaggerated face. So remember, with it, this is three-quarter view, so I can just go about one eye space, eye width apart, and I can draw that eye again. And remember how on um, – I don't know if I talked about this, but if, this, if that's our cylinder and we've got a circle, just say that's our eye. As it rotates around the cylinder, that circle is going to get – more narrow. See that? And just imagine that's a head. So this same circle as it rotates around the cylinder is going to get thinner mm. like that, right? Same with here. When we're doing our eye, it'll just get, it'll just get a little bit thinner. Just a little bit. Just to show that it's sort of rotated around the shape. So what you do, you copy, you, you just simply copy that eye, but just squash it, just squash it a little bit. And you can put a bag under there as well, like that. Right. Um, now let's just imagine, I might come make this shape a little bit bigger. This is going to be really exaggerated. Let's do like an elf or something. Um, here's our eye line. So for humans, we follow the eyelid around and then we go up and over. So I'm going to follow it around to about here, about there, and I'm going to go up. I'll do a pointed ear just for fun. Why not? Up and over like that. Right, so there's our ear. So, I, so the eyes are on this eye line, and we also find out where to put the ear using that eye line. Now, remember the head comes around, it'll come around like this, it'll hit that eye line, then it'll change direction. So here it's touched my eye line, and now when it come out, I'll give this character, because the character's face is really long, I think I'll give this character a really long, big nose, long nose, just because it matches the, the face, right? So I'll come maybe out like this, Something like that. And then I'll go, there's a the nostril. And then I always point, like the part of the nostril here, I always point it back to the corner of the eye. So from here, I'll do this like this. I'll point that. I point this. I just do a pointer on there for now. See? It points to the corner of the eye like that. I do that for, for everything. It just helps sort of, it doesn't matter how big you make the nose, it'll, um, it'll, it'll, it'll help it to look like it's sitting in the correct place on the face. Okay, hey, so, yeah? We're going to actually have to cut this short because we oh, have another so event quick. in 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. This is so oh. interesting, but we, we do have to cut it a little short. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was so short. How, I don't think I've ever done a half an hour. <laughs> You did before. really good. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to, to, to squeeze into it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank all right. you so much for joining us. And thank no you, problem. Pascal, Thanks, for joining us as well. Thank you. Um, thank you. And we will have to jump into our next webinar at 2 o'clock. Yep. Um, but, yeah, if anyone has any questions for Craig, please send them through to the Leanza sure. office email and we can pass them along. Um, if we have another opportunity, maybe we'll get Craig back to finish his drawing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe an hour next time, hey? Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, everyone. Um, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Thanks for having me. It was great. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye. Bye.